Hi guys, another episode in my little series of what can I do with the bits that I've salvaged out of my daughter's dishwasher. You might remember this uh, bit. I think it's a water pump or something involved in the uh, water part of the dishwasher. A couple of nice coils on it. There's a big magnet in there that generates some power when I spin the um, shaft. All I've done is stuck a CD on it, hot glued it in place with a little peg sticking out of it so that I can turn it easily. Then I've rigged up a little rectifier bridge, just four diodes to point the current in the right direction. I've got a capacitor and an LED coming off the rectifier bridge so that what I'm actually doing is charging up the capacitor. The LED flashes while I'm charging it up so you can see what's happening. When I've charged it up enough, what I do is I press that button and all that does is discharges the capacitor through that little electric motor. So if I connect it up helps if I don't drop it, it? There we go. just need to stand it on that little piece of wood to get the height right if I move that round so you can watch the LED flashing as I charge it up so there we go hopefully you can see the LED flashing Found about 20 turns was enough just to spin the motor. So there you go, a very simple little circuit. Remember the um, age range I'm aiming at, this is for my grandchildren to play with, so I'm not trying to get super clever with this. What would have been nice would have been if I could have driven this little electric car with it. But just using the capacitor to store the energy doesn't really do very much to the car. It just jerks. It doesn't run anywhere. I'll just demonstrate that but you'll see why I'm using the fan blade instead. What I'd like to have been able to do was run along behind the car, just driving it by turning the generator, but it's not going to happen. That's all I get. <laughs> I'll just do that again in case you missed it, because it doesn't do very much. Ready? That's it. <laughs> uh, obviously I could use a super capacitor or something like that and store up more charge and then it would run significantly further. But I didn't really want to have a capacitor in circuit at all. I just wanted to run it straight off the generator. And this one's not generating enough for that. So, bit of a shame. It would have been fun to do that because I could just imagine my grandchildren running along winding this as fast as they can to try and get the car to go faster. But that's it. So, if we stick this back in place. bit more visual, a bit more happens. 
But there we go, there's a quick, simple use of the um, whatever it was <laughs> out of the dishwasher. Four diodes arranged in a bridge, one capacitor, that one's 4,700 microfarads, one diode, one little momentary switch just to divert the power from the capacitor through the motor. Job done.